Sorry guys, from Colin the Middle of that is quite an important one too, so thank gosh I picked it up. Um, so yes, I wasn't um, going to drag my mother and brother along to go see that, so um, we missed that. Um, but I did, as I said, get a few wrestling things. Um, I got some t-shirts from Hot Topic. I love Hot Topic. Um, they didn't have a lot of small sizes, so I only got three um, that were small. They are still very big as usual, usual on me. So I picked up um, the Dolph Ziggler. You wish you could pull this off, the nice pink one. Because of course I love my colored t-shirts. I don't. There's a lot of black wrestling t-shirts in my cupboard, so I wanted some nice colorful ones. So I got that one. I also got the purple Macho Man one, which is lovely. And the last one I got, which I was so excited about getting, was this fun Dango t-shirt. <laughs> it's, it's, I just like the rainbow on it. Now it has nothing on the back. I was hoping I would have say my name on the back, but it's just got fun Dango on the front. So I thought that was pretty cool. So those are the three wrestling t-shirts I picked up. And then one of the big wrestling things um, I got over the weekend. What we did is, um, on one of the days, we went to, um, we found out there was a gaming exposition, um, like round the corner from the mall, which we could get a shuttle bus to free from our hotel. So um, I booked the tickets for me and my brother and my mum. Unfortunately, my mum had to be dragged to this because it was a whole day thing and she didn't trust me with my brother. So um, we got dra um, I dragged mum to that. Um, it was brilliant. It was called GameStop Expo 2013. Um, so we went, it was nearly the whole day, it was like 10 to 6 and we went and got to play the Xbox One, got to play PS4, if you don't know, other than wrestling um, and cupcakes of course, um, I am a gamer, I do like gaming now, I'm not on Xbox Live, I know a lot of people will say that's not really being a gamer because I'm not on live, I just choose not to be on live um, because my brother's on live, I get enough of that from my brother for being um, him being on la line live um, so I just choose to sit and play the games more of a achiever rather than an online multiplayer girl <laughs> but I will hopefully s begin to get into that I have sort of taken more interest in going online especially um, connecting with people and being able to play with the boys multiplayers but um, we did go up there, we got um, loads of freebies, the freebies were hilarious, um, got to play some of the new games, fortunately we didn't get to play um, Call of Duty Ghosts Battlefield or Titanfall, the three big ones, there was about a three hour queue for each of them and it was just nuts, um, so unfortunately we didn't get to play those but we got to play the crew, um, got to see a demo for Assassin's Creed 4. Um, got to play Borderlands, got to play um, projects, I got to play Project Spark, which is awesome. Got to play Gran Turismo, Octodad, um, what else did we get to play? We got to see a demo for Watch Dogs, um, got to play Saints Row 4, got to play, I'm trying to go through all the ways, I got to play WWE 2K14, which leads me on to this next story. Um, I went to go up to see the WWE 2K14 booth and obviously to go and play the game and there was a sign at the front um, of course it had the rock on it of course the rock's everywhere in this game so um, it had like a sign but below it there was a picture and it said um, this person is signing today um, between what was it 3 and 6 the expo ended 6 so it was and I was like Whoa. and um the picture was of Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> I have never met Ultimate Warrior in my life. I know um, some of the boys met him at a WrestleCon um, in April there, but the difference between that is um, obviously you have to pay to meet people at WrestleCon, um, whereas I paid $35 to get into the expo and got to meet him for free, which is really awesome. Um, a really good opportunity. I couldn't pass up this opportunity. So, um, of course, I was like, oh my word, so we went up and talked to the guy, had a good chat with the security, and he said, oh yeah, he's coming at three, he sent three, come back here at two, so of course we went at, like, two o'clock, the start queue, and there was about six people in the queue in front of us, so it wasn't too bad. He was on time, which was brilliant, and um, we sort of got up to the front, you weren't allowed to video, you weren't allowed to take multiple pictures, 
um, you had to hand your camera over as soon as you got up to the front of the line. You had to show what you were getting signed because you weren't allowed to get any other merchandise signed. Um, you had to get the photo signed that they provided. And um, there was something else. Um, pretty much all that. So um, I so did want to record going up to meet him. But believe me, the assistants he had with him were so strict. So, so strict. The security um, for t um, the booth was absolutely lovely, like, um, couldn't have met nicer guys, but um, there were two women with Ultimate Warrior that were very, very strict and had a hawk eye on everyone, literally. There's people, there's sort of like a wee barrier, and then there's the 2K, and then Ultimate Warrior should do a wee podium sign, and there are people behind the barrier all watching, and as soon as any of them got their camera out, Pa the assistants and security turned around and went, nope, nope, no photos, you're not allowed to take any photos, no, no, no photos. I don't know whether it's um, an Ultimate Warrior thing that he doesn't want photos of him. I don't know. It's really weird. Maybe it's just his um, his man manager or his um, branding or something don't want any photos taken of him that have not been approved or anything so everyone was going a bit nuts outside the barrier because obviously they were standing watching trying to take pictures and the security were going around no you know allowed your cameras out just can you move on please so it was a bit nuts but um got up and that was fine um they had the 2k um wwe belt the belt they have made for obviously 2k um so i got to hold it and go and get a picture i'm sure you have seen it on Twitter, I believe I did put it up on Twitter. I'll try and grab it here for you while I'm talking. But yes, yeah, so I got up first to go meet him and they had a big joke because the security guard that was on earlier that I talked to um, was doing around going, oh, do you, here's your biggest fan and all this and um, talked about the figures and stuff and ultimate words, took this look at me. He's all makeup in his big coat and um, it was just like, Oh, you're my tiniest fan. You're just my tiniest fan. And I was like, oh, and he gave me this massive big hug. I got two kisses, two kisses <laughs> on the cheeks. And we just had this amazing conversation. Um, he spent, and I'm not joking, about near seven, eight minutes talking to me. And this was the same for the whole queue. He spent about seven to maybe five to seven minutes with each person personally just chatting to them which I thought was really nice of him to take out his time to actually stand and have a unique conversation with each person not just sign the photo here's your photo here's a picture there you go so you got the picture first so I was holding the belt and he didn't break out and was like oh and um we did that and then I had a nice chat with him and talked about um he says I don't even think you were born when I was wrestling and I was like probably not I said I, I didn't get into wrestling in 2007 I said but for me personally I bought all the old anthologies all the old wrestling matches um so that I in a way could catch up with what happened in the 80s the 90s when I wasn't born when these big WrestleManias were happening when the big stars like Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, Roddy, Roddy, Rod, Roddy Piper, everyone, Ultimate Warrior was wrestling. I said I went and bought all these. I said just for the fact that I wanted to be able to live history through that and not have the boys or anyone else in that time come up to me and try and explain it to me, try and explain the atmosphere, the emotion. Or I watched this live and this is what happened. I didn't want to experience the matches through them. I wanted to see them for myself so that I can make my own judgment on them and make myself feel like I was there at those matches and experience matches for myself. So he had a really good chat about that, um, how he loved working as his Ultimate Warrior character, um, how he was just amazed at the reception he got, how much fun he had. And then he asked me about two of my favorite wrestlers, maybe from that era since I started watching them, I said, um, other than yourself, because, <laughs> no, I'm not the biggest Ultimate Warrior fan, but he did push himself up the list after meeting him, but my two main favourites, um, back then were, obviously, I've talked this about, about this before, Jake Snake Roberts and Mr. Perfect were my top two, um, wrestlers in that era, and he seemed to think they were very, very good choices, and, um, absolutely lovely man, could not say a bad word about him at all, I... 
it's just amazing to get the opportunity and um, that is not mine. Where the hell is mine? Here's mine. Oh, sorry guys. It's all the way over here. Um, so, I, I got an autograph from Ultimate Warrior and he signed it personally to Healy. Or Healy. And then, always believe Ultimate Warrior. So, I will always believe now. And he was a gentleman. Lovely guy to meet. If you ever get the chance to meet him, um, just a wonderful guy. Took the time out. Now, I, I may have something. No. I know I have like a thousand and something subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. Still can't believe it that I still had it when I came back since I I'm, haven't been doing much videos. But um, if any of my subscribers are called Joel, J O E L, I need you to post in the description your name and um, I need to sort something out. Um, but if you're called Joel, please do post in the description and you'll see why at a later point. But any jewels in my subscribers, post down below, okay? So yeah, that was all like my wrestling stuff I picked up. Um, I had a really good time in Las Vegas. It was a lot of fun. Um, definitely glad to be back home though and just sort of getting into the routine of things again. So um, thank you so, so much for sticking with me. I will be on here hopefully a lot more. Um, so yeah, thanks guys and also um, I want to end this video by just saying everyone go and send well wishes and get well soon. Wishes to Luke Cara, he was in a car accident on Tuesday evening I believe. So everyone please go and set, send some hugs and cuddles and well wishes to him. I believe he may have a broken nose. So um, hopefully let's see if we can get him to wear a Cody mask or can't, sometime, no, Cody mask. It has to be the, the clear see-through Cody mask. Um, go torture him and see if he'll wear that because that would be pretty epic if he did. But um, yeah, go send him well wishes and we'll end that video over there and I shall see you guys soon. So bye guys.